This will be a quick introduction to the Cloud Recon tool. I'll focus just on three main areas, the main dashboard, the IAS report, and VM sizing, and costing. For additional details, we recommend you view the other demos we have, which will provide you significantly more detail on the types of reports and the type of information you can get from Cloud Recon. This is the main dashboard that you'll find in the Cloud Recon tool. You notice over here the menu, we've got a series of reports that include SQL sizing, VM sizing, lift and shift, reports for IaaS, SaaS, and PaaS, a security report, and a detailed costing report. Uh, just a quick overview of the main dashboard from here, you can click down on any area. For, for example, I might choose to click on Cloud Potential Applications. If I click on that, I will then get a report of the 162 applications that were discovered in this environment that are candidates to move to the cloud. And this information can all be exported as an Excel file for further analysis. The second report we'll be looking at is the IaaS reports for VMs, which includes right sizing and consolidation. You notice that we've identified 120 VMs. Uh, in this case, we're actually using map sample data. So we've identified 120 VMs in the environment. From the infrastructure performance data, we're able to get important information such as CPU utilization, memory and network utilization, and IOPS data. This allows us to very accurately predict and estimate the size of the Azure resource and the cost of the Azure resource for that particular workload. Now you notice over here that we've actually said that we'll have 57 VMs after decommissioning. So we have a two-step process in cloud migration for IaaS. The first is that we right size based on the actual performance data and other characteristics of the application. We'll recommend the right resource size. The second is we'll recommend consolidation. For example, you might have a VM which has high CPU utilization and low IOPS and another VM which is high IOPS utilization but low CPU usage. Those VMs would then be candidates for consolidation into a single VM resource. Now you may have other factors involved such as SLA and backup and recovery that may influence your decisions, but this provides you a good starting point and represents an additional opportunity to achieve the cost savings by moving to Azure. Now we're going to look at some what-if analysis around Azure migration. For example, in the tool, you're able to change the region and geography that you want to migrate, and then that will update all the costs. You also have the ability to change the tier. For example, you might not agree with our recommendations based on your additional knowledge of the infrastructure. You might recommend some changes. And you can also recommend changes to the instance sizing. For example, it's possible that one application has been deployed in beta mode for the last several months and will soon be deployed into production mode. Based on that, you know the usage is going to go up, so you might change the instance sizing. All of these changes are immediately reflected in the total cost, so it allows you to do what-if analysis on the cost assessment for your Azure migration. Continuing that analysis, you've got the ability to fully customize your cost assumptions. So one of the things that Cloud Recon allows you to do is to compare your on-premise cost to your cloud cost. So we'll walk through that quickly here. You notice the ability to go in and make changes to these. For example, the costs of hardware, software, your IT labor costs, electricity costs. For example, here in the Pacific Northwest, we have very low utility costs because of our hydroelectric power, data center, networking, virtualization, and data storage costs. So all that information uh, is provided to you. We, we provide you with default information based on industry guidelines, and then we allow you to further customize that based on your particular cost requirements. And now we're going to show you actual customer-based data from the actual infrastructure and usage. So based on the Cloud Recon analysis, over a five-year period, this particular customer would spend over $38 million in on-premise IT cost. If they were to follow our recommendations in terms of right sizing, consolidation, which application should move to IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS, they would save a significant amount of money and their costs would be less than $15 million. This is a quick overview of the Cloud Recon dashboard. We've shown you the main dashboard, the IaaS report with VM sizing, and some of the costing reports and the ability to do what if analysis. Again, for additional details on the full functionality of Cloud Recon, we recommend you view some of the other recordings that we have available on our website.